Shut up! So, okay, we just went to Hattie B's and we didn't show any of that because we're terrible at this still. But we'll go back sometime and show you. Uh, but we sat outside and it was really hot and just one thinking. But now we're at McKay's bookstore and I'm just gonna show you around. I sold some gear here a couple weeks ago and I'm kinda interested to see what they're selling it for, um, which is weird, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So anyway, let's take a look around. So they obviously have more than just books and stuff. And over here we always like to look at the cameras. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, oh, I'm not entirely sure if any of these are particularly great or not. But they have a, a pretty good selection. GoPro. Cool, 129. I think it's just like the original one. No, here too. Okay. Oh, a bunch of stuff. Yeah, cell phones and iPods and tablets and other stuff. I don't know what it is. Okay, and here they have game systems, computer monitors, um, a bunch of different like music players, different types. Old, some new, very rare new. But my favorite place to look, one of the many, is the Nintendo 64 games. They never have the one I'm looking for, but you know, but they have all different kinds of games. They do. They have all Brad's gear out. They have guitars, a lot of instruments. I sold them um, that, that green DL4, uh, this blue compressor. That one that says Hardwire right behind there, the big Jekyll and Hyde, and then the Giga Delay back there. And that interface. Mm-hmm. Off to fund the purchase of this camera. Yes. I think it's a pretty good purchase. I must say so myself. Oh, and there's your drum. There's the big old, big old kit drum. They are getting a lot more than we paid for it. Totally. This still got my logo on it. Or the Awakening logo on it. Noise. You can find gems like these every so often, these Star Wars things. Or these are in a Pokemon. They've yeah, got they like have Pokemon really good cards. cards. They have good magic cards usually. Apparently, hey, apparently no they don't, not according to the Magic the Gathering Gatherings guy. GPS systems, which I don't know if anybody ever uses those anymore. <laughs> I think it's over here. Um, whatever these are. CD players. <laughs> uh, I mean, hey. Oh my gosh, that's amazing though. Yeah. And it's FM stereo, you can listen to Woody and Jim. <laughs> you got some different like workout bands. And one of Bryce's favorite things that they have. Let's see. Backtracking a little bit. Excuse me. Is they have different like Disney Infinity characters. They have different um, Skylanders characters. They have the actual systems um, here, and they also have all of these individually packaged that aren't in the um, oh, dude. Uh, packs anymore. Oh, Woody. Oh, Woody. That's awesome. Eight ninety five. I don't know. I don't know if that's a good a good price or not, but I mean it's eight ninety five. I think they're normally like thirteen dollars for Okay. Just like not even used. The funny thing is I don't even think my brother has the game. No he, he doesn't. just likes the toys. He has the Skylanders game now, but oh, Jack Sparrow. Okay. <laughs> but we have all these different systems for Skylanders, Disney Infinity and all of that. So you can usually find a pretty good deal. All the different games. Uh, all these N64 games? Mm -hmm. Oh, but the great ones would be in there. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. The most valuable ones. Yeah. You got Amiibos? Amiibos? <laughs> what was that? I don't know. I couldn't Ami talk. Ami 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 That's Ami all, folks. Ami Amiibos? <laughs> like regretting selling all of that. 
Just remember, it went towards a good cause. It really did. Well, no, it didn't. It went towards a purchase. I get cost. <laughs> all this computer stuff. What is that? Uh, VR. I don't know what that is. Virtual reality headset. Oh. I had one of those. What are these? Uh huh. What Whenever is it? I was a kid. It's like those new ones that you get the instant picture, but those are stickered. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Five bucks, that'd be a fun childhood memory. Yeah. I don't know if they make the film for them anymore, though. Right now, Brad is looking at Goosebumps books. Oh. Yes. Bryce is really big into Goosebumps. These have gone up in price. Really? They were three seventy five last time. That's right. Here. Good old 25 cents. Oh. But that's not a Goosebumps book. <laughs> But we have these reading assessments and we give you a reading level. Mm -hmm. And my reading level would be a certain thing. And these are the easiest ones. These uh, Hardy Boys books are the easiest books to read um, within my reading level. So I read like a bunch of these. I don't remember, like, I feel like I would buy all of these just for nostalgia. So. We're going to walk over to the board games. And right over here sometimes you can find really good deals and really good games but sometimes not so much just berries obviously but yeah these are the games I'm gonna see if I find anything like that we would play because we've gotten into some a lot of board games Ooh. Carmen San Diego right down there. I didn't even know they made a board game. Let's see. Nine dollars. I might have to talk to Brad. I have a whole nother side. You can get apples to apples here every so often. Um, obviously it's just all in what people sell. They have Scategories, Cranium, Logo. Um, Monopoly. But like, see, they have Risk Star Wars. And it's never even been open. And it is $22.50. So it's a really good deal. Like, let's see what he's looking at. It's a really nice remit, remit cube, remit code, whatever. I can't even figure out how to pack it up. <laughs> Best section in the whole store. Boom. Laser disc. So all of these are like DVDs and, and Blu-rays and stuff of movies and TV series and they even have like VHS tapes and, which is hilarious. You should probably go look at them as well but I mean they don't just have books they have a ton of other stuff I want to show you this from from upstairs so you how just huge this area is so one thing that's super cool is as you can see this place is massive um, but they have an upstairs area that has none of music CDs and right behind me here is vinyls and I just I just think it's so cool you can come here and find all kinds of stuff but they have a, a section for everything they got Christian music, they got blues, they got rock, they got rap, they got bluegrass, anything you think of. So aside from just the regular vinyl section that we're going to show you, it's in the corner. Um, they have this new, like, I don't even know, I've never seen this before, but it's so many records. Um, just kind of here in the middle, it starts here, and it goes all the way down to the end there. That's crazy. Oak. Oh. And all these. I don't even know what these are called because I don't listen to records. <laughs> she said they're called mini records. <laughs> so just to give you guys an idea of how big this place is, we're by the back wall where the folk and the some CDs are. <laughs> <laughs> I think you meant bluegrass. Bluegrass. Well there's folk too. Anyways. But this is the rest of the building. Like, it's huge. So these are 
like I said, the whole upstairs here and over here is all CDs and records. This is all the books and all their different genres. This whole whatever way that would be. And then over there, where the bookshelves are different, that's all the movies. Back in this corner is where the musical gear and cameras and games and stuff are. That is the elevator. And then behind that is the entrance. So this place is massive. As soon as you walk in, if you go to the right, uh, there's a section that says the reader, and that's where you would come to sell stuff. We actually brought a bunch of gear, uh, some of which I showed you earlier, and um, they gave us really fair prices on everything. We're actually able to fund the purchase of the G7X from selling all that stuff. So that's this area right here. And apparently that creepy old guy thought we were filming him or he's just ridiculous. Probably the second one. So we just ran into Opry Mills real quick, pick up some pants from Old Navy, which they have the most comfortable pants on the planet. Um, but it just reminded me when I was a kid, my dad wouldn't let us shop at Old Navy. And it was literally because of the commercials they had. Um, I don't know if any of you remember, but they they had some just, like, just the worst commercials on the planet. They were so cheesy. And so, I mean, do you remember those? Mm-hmm. I don't even remember what they were about. Like, they were just, I remember around Christmas time, they'd all be, like, having snowball fights or going sledding or something. Yeah. And, like, was it the, was the dog? Do they have a dog yeah. in there? I, anyway, I don't even remember what they were about, but my dad literally would not let us shop there because the commercials were so lame. Yeah. So I never, I never shopped at Old Navy until like two years ago because, because the commercial sucked. <laughs> <laughs> so we wound up um, after Opera Mills going and doing some grocery shopping at Kroger and um, got gas and all that stuff. Um, then we came home and just kind of laid around all day. That's what you do on Sundays, right? Yeah. So it's almost nine o'clock now, which. It's usually early, but on a Sunday, it's pretty late. So, I think we're gonna head on to bed. Well, actually, we're watching the Tim Tracker videos, but um, checking out the new Animal Kingdom stuff at night, and then he's got a Mako soft opening video. So we're gonna watch those, and then probably go to bed.